Good morning, modern steaders. I feel like the universe is back to normal. The pigs, they're already up this morning. I saw them walking around. They're not sleeping in. That makes me feel good. And the chickens, well, I don't know what they're doing, but they're getting ready. Come on in, sausage. You're back to your normal self. Oh, those some good apples. Good morning, Lynx. Here, let me put it in your dish first. Oh, man. You girls. You're not very girly, are you? Sausage, you got something on your face. You're not supposed to wear your food. I still have quite a few apples left in here. And I bet you I could give them a Kubota tractor bucket load full of apples this morning. But they're not eating them. Everybody's up and at it early this morning. I like that. Huh, Pluto? Actually, I had to wake Pluto up this morning. She didn't want to get out of bed, guys. Moose, you're awful quiet this morning. I think that one chicken's pretty funny. What are you doing up there, huh? You the foreman? The safety inspector? Come on. yesterday jumping on the spools. Huh? Did you sleep good? You out searching for apples, Willow. Got the pig some food scraps. You girls might like this. Did you, did you eat all your grain already? Ugh. You smell that? Does that smell good? So excited about that, aren't you? If you get in there, chickens, you might lose a toe or a beak or two.
I'm glad to see you girls liking your spools. Oh, girls. How am I supposed to get any work done now? You had to take a break, you got hungry. Look at all the apples. Oh, man, the pigs need to start eating more of them. with like some nice fresh bedding. You know what we haven't looked for lately? Ah, I know guys, I still got about two more cords of firewood to stack. We'll get there. But, you know what we haven't checked out? Oh yeah, we got some snicker bars for the pigs. Hope you girls are hungry. Brought you a delicacy. Your favorite. I think you just like cracking them open, don't you, the sausage? I figure if the chickens are gonna eat their grain, they might as well eat the chicken's eggs. We've been getting a lot of questions lately on why we haven't done anything with the four acres that we've had clear cut this past summer. We've gotten over 10 inches of rain since we had this land logged, stumped, and then bulldozed. If you can see all the marks on the dirt that's from being washed out and the little green patch right there, that's actually standing water and grass growing there. So I haven't, hasn't dried out enough for me to get down there with the Kubota to rake it out and then seed it. I'm hoping starting this week I can get down there and do that. The plans for the four acres is for me to get it all raked out and then get seed down so we can get some grass growing this season before it becomes winter too soon here but the bigger plan here is, is we'd like to get a perimeter fence around the four acres or if we could our whole property and then in this area you're seeing right up here in the flat spot in the upper area we'd like to get that all raked out nice and flat and smooth and the plans is to have a greenhouse nice big greenhouse where we can grow a lot of our own produce and a big barn up here and then we'll be able to lead out back to the pasture area where we can have it all 
sectioned off. We can let our animals rotationally graze, spread their compost on, and have a nice self-sufficient modern homestead. We're going to be seeing the area where all of the standing water has been from all the rain we've been getting. You can see all the ruts right here. That's just from it getting washed out, so I don't want to rake it and have to re-rake it. But right here you can see the standing water, so we got to wait for this to dry out and then we can rake it all. Down back here we own on the other side of the brook about two acres, and it's all hardwood over there with a good amount of it being maple. So the plan is, is to make a path over the brook so we can get over there and put a sugar bush in this winter. So come next spring, we can be tapping our maple trees. We can be making and producing our own maple syrup here on our homestead. So right in this area behind me here, it goes back to the goat pen. We've got a lot of shrubby apple trees. I'm hoping we can save them but they weren't able to get in here with the bigger equipment and smooth it up. So I'm working on getting a smaller excavator here so we can get in there, clean it up. I want to take a bunch of the rocks and place rocks in here and make this a small, or make the goat pen bigger area in here and have rocks that they can jump on and climb on and have a great time. And we'll have a great view from hopefully someday a deck right here. But we can at least watch them out the window while we're eating dinner. We're out here at the outdoor kitchen in the picnic area soon to be. We can be watching the goats. We'll have fun watching them and I think they'll have a great time if we can make like a goat rock garden for them. We got some good sized rocks. We just got to get them from there to here. So we're hoping to have the pasture all raked out, seeded in the new goat area all smoothed out and rocks over here before winter comes. Winter's gonna be here for us. Ugh. October we usually get snow, so hopefully we can get all this done. Thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.